Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another Some Assemblage Required video where I am using a little bit of wood veneer today. Um, it is not our typical day to post um, on wood veneer, but that's okay. Um, really happy with this little layout and the piece that I am using. So I am just going to go ahead and go with it. And this is actually uh, a um, piece of wood that was in... I want to say the February box and I am also going to be using some of the hearts that were in the February box. Um, actually they were probably in the shop not in the box. My apologies for that but uh, anyway it's another Girl Scout video um, or Girl Scout layout and this is basically selling the same products that they were selling yesterday but this is actually at a Girl Scout event called Winterfest and it is basically where all of the um, troops can sign up to sell anything they've made throughout the year and other Girl Scouts come. Uh, they pay a small entrance fee and then they come and they buy the different craft products that the girls have made. And so in order to uh, earn extra money, my troop definitely did Winterfest every year and it was a lot of fun. They really enjoyed it. We made stuffed animals, we made scarves um, that were knit. Uh, a lot of the girls had extra time sitting and waiting for things uh, throughout the year, whether it was classes. Uh, most of my girls were homeschooled, so whether they were waiting for classes or hanging out at a park day or whatever else, they would, um, you know, knit if they were on an airplane, whatever, <laughs> do whatever they had, or crochet a little scarf or whatever. Um, anyway, we also made a lot of stuffed animals. They did a lot of this um, pattern cutting and sewing, and then the more difficult parts, um, of the sewing my mom or I would do and then they would stuff everything and um, all of that good stuff. So it was definitely a team effort. We had a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, I am using up a bunch of the pieces from the Simple Vintage. Um, oh my goodness, I was going to say Farmhouse Garden. That's not, a, not correct. Um, <laughs> Cottage Fields collection from Simple Stories. I am matting all of my photos in black just because um, they they printed with a white border and I'm putting them on such a light color I wanted to go ahead and mat them in black just to give them a little bit extra pop. I am using a title that says Winterfest. My thickers that I'm using are huge and when you see this you're going to see me spell it wrong and it is already fixed so don't freak out. You don't have to leave me any messages that it is spelled wrong. It's probably spelled wrong even in the still shots, I'm guessing. But it is already fixed. I took out the extra E. And um, I do not know what was going on with my head, but I even ha created an extra E out of a C and another letter, as you see there. Um, winter and Fest do not have an E in the middle of them, in case you didn't know that. But um, I, I did realize it, and it's already corrected. Uh, and you're not going to see that probably on screen. So anyway, um, because my thickers are so big and the title's taking up a lot of area, I'm going to consider that kind of like it's one embellishment area. I don't have to do a whole lot of extra work there. So um, it, it is, you know, a lot of times I do feel like a title can be a good um, embellishment if it's, I don't know, fancy or worked into something or or really large or something like that anyway this wood veneer piece that is in a circle over there it says a circle is round it has no end that's how long i'm going to be your friend which is a girl scout song that they sing a lot <laughs> and um so i thought that was really cute and i wanted to go ahead and use that and i do realize that the heart in the middle is sideways but i wanted it to start um the swirl to start where it starts I didn't want it to start at the top. It, if I flipped it over, it would start at the top. And then I would have this little weird, awkward space. So I just said, you know what? It's going to be what it is. And then I'm playing around with where I'm going to put this large gingham butterfly. Again, the um, embellishments in this collection are quite large. I did cut that. I think I cut that one out of something. But anyway, everything's very large in this collection. Um... And I'm going to go ahead and nestle it in here under the, the date, the 2010 date. And then you see the wood veneer hearts there to the right hand side. I'm going to use one of those in each of my little areas as well. Um, that little black piece above the 
uh, photo says the good life. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and use that because this, uh, the girls really had fun doing all of these kinds of events and stuff. So I would call it the good life. Anyway, we had a banner for our little shop and, um, they had, they always had fun like setting it up and, um, basically playing store, <laughs> but they actually did make quite a bit of money off of this event. So, um, lots of fun. It was a really great way for them to earn money to travel and we really enjoyed it. I am popping the edge of these butterfly wings up onto some foam just to give them an, a little bit of added lift and then the body, the center of the body will be tucked down onto the paper just so that um, there is added dimension. And then I'm going to add another butterfly kind of at the bottom center of the two um, photos. I am playing around with these little hearts, deciding where I want them. And I really like this one tucked up at the top. And I think that's super cute. And um, in case you didn't know, these wood veneer pieces that come from MK Shop are adhesive backed. So you just peel the uh, paper off the back and they stick right down. And you don't have to put anything on them. You don't have to use glue dots or anything like that. So it's a win-win. You get wood veneer that sticks very well. And, um, the two butterflies, I did ink those up with a little black soot distress ink just to make them pop a bit more. I'm going to sprinkle everything with a little bit of gold Heidi Swap Color Shine and some white Dilutions spray, ink spray, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. And then I am doing a sketchy outline all the way around the outside of my layout just to give it a bit of a framed border. While I go ahead and do that, I will remind you that um, MK is also doing a uh, kit conspiracy with me. <laughs> and actually we have had Susan L and uh, Jennifer Kane join us as well because um, they have uh, the collections that we were working with and really wanted to play along. And so that was awesome. We were so glad to have them, but they do not have uh, channels on YouTube, you would have to go and visit them on Instagram. I'll put links to their um, videos or their uh, Instagram links down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll also put a link to the products that are on this uh, layout in case you are interested in them. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.